this kit is called a wireless water level indicator so it can be used to detect the level of water in a uh, particular water tank or any water storage equipment so the basic technology through which the data is transmitted is um, uh, radio frequency so you have uh, this water level indicators which is inserted in the water tank or uh, glass in this case and this is attached <coughs> to the transmitter section of the uh, circuit wireless circuit so this is the radio frequency transmitter rf transmitter so the data from the water level indicators are passed on to the encoder uh, which is which then sends the data through the transmitter which is received at the receiver this is a receiver section so this is received at the receiver and then decoded and then uh, the corresponding value is then shown on the uh, leds so these are the four leds which correspond to the four uh, levels of indication indicators that is uh, inserted in the uh, water tank so just to demonstrate so as you can see uh, the first level is indicated And, and now when the glass becomes full all the four levels have been indicated it means that the water has reached its maximum level so this is how the kit works and you can order this kit from our website uh, kidsguru.com where you'll find uh, two versions of the kit one is where you'll get this complete ready-made kit as shown here and the other one is where you'll uh, get all the components separately and you can uh, assemble those components with the help of our uh, video tutorials and uh, how to solder those components so in this section of the video we'll see what all components are used in this kit and what all pcbs are used in this kit how are the components connected onto the pcb and then how do we check the power supplies uh, uh, in the pcb and how do we test the working of this entire component and how do we convert a set of components into a working kit so as you can see we have uh, kept a ready-made uh, kit here for reference purpose this is a transmitter circuit and this is a receiver circuit and corresponding to that we have another set of uh, components uh, kept along uh, so uh, which we'll tell you how to assemble onto these two pcbs correspondingly so starting off with the transmitter circuit so this is the rf transmitter and this is the antenna wire and this is the uh, the four pin uh, connector which uh, receives the data and through these transistors it, uh, the uh, data is amplified and sent to the decoder and this decoder then uh, transmit the signals through uh, decodes uh, the signals uh, and i mean encodes the signals and sends it through the rf transmitter to the receiver this is a receiver and then <coughs> this receiver then sends the signal to the decoder and this decodes the particular signals and then uh, corresponding to the uh, level of water or whatever data which has been received it uh, displays the output so we'll start off with the transmitter circuit first so this is a blank pcb this is a top side and this is a bottom side uh, the top side is where all the components are inserted the bottom side is where all the copper layers are present for soldering purpose the technology that we use is called through hole technology in which we drill holes throughout the pcb uh, from the top and then uh, take and the solder the components at the bottom so because we are keeping or uh, because we are taking a reference pcb i'll keep this blank pcb in line with the reference pcb in order to uh, understand the alignment of each and every component so starting off with the power supply we have a two two pin connector so this is to connect the power supply and then a diode is connected this is in case uh, the power supply is given in reverse polarity so this is a diode it has uh, even this has polarity so the part with the gray strip on it is a negative terminal so the current flows from uh, the positive terminal to the negative terminal so we have to ensure that the gray strip is on the left side and then 
uh, this entire kit works on 5 volts so we need to convert the uh, power supply to 5 volt uh, regulated uh, power for that we use the 7805 voltage regulator IC so this is the front face of the IC so the left pin is the input pin which is which receives the input supply and the third pin on the right is uh, the output pin which pro provides a regulated 5 volt supply so while inserting we have to ensure that the first pin is in line with the diode so the third pin would be facing us like this then <clears throat> we need to attach or we need to insert this IC base so uh, before the ICs now this is this is the IC and so if you keep the IC sorry if you keep the ICs like this there is a notch which is present on the top right now as you can see so the pin on the left top of the notch left side of the notch is the first pin and then you need to count the pins counterclockwise so the pin on the right is the pin number 18 so we usually fix an, a base before inserting the IC in order to protect the IC during soldering or in case you need to replace the IC in the future you can do it easily so while inserting we need to ensure that the notch is on the left side so even the IC base has a notch it should be on the left side so then you need to insert an LED so when LED has a polarity so uh, the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal or in case both the stems are of equal length you'll notice that the bulb gets flat on the negative terminal the base of the bulb here uh, gets flat on the negative terminal that indicates that that is a negative terminal so while inserting the LED we have to ensure that the front end or I mean the positive end is facing us and then we insert a resistor of 1 kilo ohm with color code brown, black and red. So this is in order to protect the LED. Then uh, you can see the transmitter. So this is the antenna wire so the uh, while inserting the transmitter we need to ensure that the antenna port is near the antenna wire so this is the antenna port so this has to be nearer to the antenna wire so we have already also provided a slot and we have provided the wires for the antenna and then a transistor is used to amplify the data from the receive from the sensors and then transmit so you have to insert all the transistors, transistors in such a way that the flat phase on, on the right side as you can see the flat phase will be on the right side so along with that we will insert this resistor so you can do that for all the transistors and resistors resistance, resistors don't have polarity so you can fix it in whatever way you want and then this is the base the 5 pin connector base 6 pin sorry and then a network resistor is used this is a cluster of uh, 8 resistors each of 10k 10 kilo ohm so while inserting or while taking when you look at this network resistor you will see that there is a dot uh, on the left side so while inserting we need to ensure that the dot is on the right side so it means that you will be facing the rare part of the network resistor and then we also need to insert uh, we have to remember that with a transistor you have to insert a resistor of 1 mega ohm and with the receiver you need to insert a resistor of 51 kilo ohm so the resistor of 1 mega ohm goes here so this is how we connect the components on the transmitter circuit so we'll move on to the receiver circuit now so even i'll keep this with corresponding to the ready-made kit so first we have the base for the power supply then another diode so while inserting the diode we need to ensure that the 
grey side or the negative side is towards us and then a voltage regulator IC uh, with the left pin or the first pin on the left side so you'll be facing the voltage regulator IC's front face then an LED which is the power indicator LED so while inserting the LED we have to ensure that the negative end is towards us and a resistor of 1k with the LED then the decoder IC so the notch of the decoder IC as well as the IC base will be on the left side And then another LED that you can see, this is the LED which uh, is used to receive the signal from the transmitter. So while inserting this LED, we need to ensure that the positive terminal is facing us. And another resistor of 1K. So with every LED, we have to ensure that we insert a resistor of 1K to protect the LED. And you also have to ensure the color code, uh, brown, black and red. And as you remember we told earlier that there is another resistor of uh, 51 kilo ohm which has to be inserted to support the encode, uh, decoder IC. So the resistor of 51k goes here. And then we will insert the receiver. This is the receiver. As you can see this is the antenna wire. So we need to ensure that the antenna port that is this has to come here on this side and then you can insert all the four LEDs here uh, with the positive end towards us and the cor re resistors corresponding to each LED so this is how you connect all the connections uh, for the receiver circuit and now uh, while inserting the connector, the 6 pin connector, we need to ensure that the black wire is on the top side, or black wire is away from you. So this is how the connection for this uh, indicators are done. And then we'll check the power supplies. So we'll connect this to the battery. So first we'll check the power supply at the voltage regulator IC. So that is done through a digital multimeter. This is a digital multimeter. The black terminal is a common terminal which has to be attached to the body of the voltage regulator IC. The third pin of the voltage regulator IC should show 5 volts and the first pin should show the input supply. The 18th pin should show 5 volts. 18th pin of the decoder IC should show 5 volts. And even in this transmitter circuit the third pin should show 5 volts the 18th pin should show 5 volts 
so this is how the power supply is needs needs to be checked so once the power supplies are checked and uh, the leds uh, i mean uh, the power supplies are confirmed you can go on and fix your ic's and this particular uh, this particular led as you can see is used to indicate the signal which is transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver so whenever there is an exchange of data this particular uh, led will blink so this means that your transmitter and uh, receiver is working so this is how you need to check the power supplies and then connect your ICs and uh, uh, the and solder and finally solder them. So you can order this kit from our site uh, kitscrew.com where you will find two versions of the kit. One is where you will get all the uh, kit, uh, the complete complete kit, a uh, working kit as you can see here, and the other one where you will get all the components separately along with the uh, data sheets and the specification component specifications and along with this video tutorials on how to assemble those components how to solder those components you can uh, easily convert the set of components into a working kit